Uncle Bildy here. No, that's not my face. That's the church I was talking about in a few videos ago. I think I posted that one, I'm not sure. If you look carefully beside it, I don't know if I can zoom this. Oh yeah. You see a minaret. There it is. I knew there was a mosque back there. I've never seen it. Right behind the church. I've heard the Azan being uh, broadcast over a speaker. So I knew it was there. They don't broadcast it very loud. It's not like uh, Muslim countries or France or England where they turn it up where it can't be ignored in the whole neighborhood five times a day. It's uh, I don't mind uh, listening to it. It's really uh, it's a nice little piece of music, I guess. The call to prayer. You call to pray to your God, and I'll call to pray to mine. Some people think it's the same. Allah, inshallah. We'll find out one day. <clears throat> anyway, Muslims live in an orthodox country, free of harassment and restrictions, but they're expected to respect the laws and not harass or restrict other people. Putin said that publicly. Would your president say such a thing? I like it here. Anyway, that just got my attention. It, that little minaret sticking up there, I never really noticed it behind the steeple. Just took my daughter to school on the bus. It's raining today. Poor thing, she has to carry this huge sack of books everywhere. It's heavy. She had trouble jumping over the gutter where the water's running through it on the edge of the street. Had to help her. These kids, they got such a workload from here. I wouldn't change them out with American school for any amount of money in the world. I don't want my kids going to an American public school. Suppose there might be some good ones, but uh, they're all up to something. Teaching some pretty strange doctrines. Here, they pretty much, uh, as far as I can tell, I don't know what that did. They, uh, Give them a classical education, pretty much. It appears to be the trivium. My oldest daughter went to the school nearby her house and they taught German as a second language. It's required to graduate school here. You have to have a foreign language and each of the neighborhood schools teach different ones. So she learned German pretty good. I think she's probably forgotten it now. She's been going to an English teaching school on the other side of town. But, uh, I really liked, uh, how knowledgeable she was on it. And calligraphy, they teach calligraphy. You have to have nice handwriting. And if you practice enough, even if you're, uh, a horrible handwriting like me, if you practice enough and are very careful, you can have nice handwriting. They still handwrite a lot of things here in their interaction with, uh, the local government. If you have a problem or something you want to address, you uh, get a form and then you have a big area on there where you handwrite. You write in handwriting that they can read what the problem is, what you think ought to be done about it. They're very, very uh, strict on that handwriting. My daughter's handwriting is pretty nice. My wife's is beautiful. Everybody's I've ever seen here when they write something out just jot a little note. It's like <laughs> something that could be framed. They uh, have an awful lot of homework, though. It's the only thing I don't like. They don't have time to be kids. I mean, holy crap, they spend all their time doing homework. They bury them in it. That's a little much. I never had anywhere near. I don't think I had a quarter as much homework as they do. And it's all just busy work and practice and stuff. Uh... I turned out okay. <laughs> Lots of people did.
I have to hire tutors. Kid's still in kindergarten, the youngest. My boy. But he's going to like a, a preparatory school that gets him ready for first grade. You ever heard such a thing? And he's got homework. He's freaking six. And he's got to practice his calligraphy and he has to do mathematics and that's all very well and good, but they give him a lot. I can tell he gets really tired and sloppy by the time he gets to the end of it. Don't these people have any discretion on this stuff? I mean, for crying out loud. And kids get tired and they start playing and they procrastinate. Needs to be some uh, judicious uh, excising of some of this homework. If any uh, Russian uh, school officials are listening. I don't know. The only complaint I have is too much for little kids. It's just too much. Well, I'm going to go catch a bus here and uh, call that uh, it for this one. Just a little snippet about education here. Schools are really old buildings, so like this one. Lots of stairs. Hallways, corridors, small rooms, but they're usually small classes and they're small schools. They don't have giant mega schools like they do in the U.S. where you have a thousand or more students. Uh, I think that's pretty sweet. That's another good point about here. Small schools, small classes, and uh, they don't have any political correctness at all. Very few minorities here. There's some stand country people and there's some uh, totters, Muslim kids. You know, you know, you can you can have your holiday, holiday off. We'll teach the other kids about what your religion means and what your holiday means. It's a nice, interesting thing for them, but you're not going to make us respect it and impose it on us. They do observe Orthodox holidays and uh, all the national stuff regional schools or uh, they're not minorities uh, the various tribes and indigenous people different places in central Russia and Siberia well no that's a little different they celebrate their culture because the majority there is of that culture it's pretty nice well I'm gonna call it off here I need to get on a bus later Uncle Billy signing out.